George along with Nick Adams is in a small lunchroom where a cook named Sam also works. The story starts when two unknown persons enter the lunchroom. It is evening time and the lights on the street are on. The unknown persons see the menu and ask for supper. They order food, but not every item they ask for is ready yet. George tells them that it is not dinner time, therefore, the ordered items are not available. Finally, they order some food from the available items. While eating their meals, both the criminals tease George and Nick Adams. The writer introduces them to the readers with the delivery of dialogues between the two. They are introduced as AI and Maximum. They are professional criminals and came to kill a person named Ole Anderson, who is a prizefighter. He regularly dines in the lunchroom. After finishing their meals, AI calls the cook. When Sam, the cook, comes from the kitchen, AI stands up and forcibly took Sam and Nick Adams back to the kitchen and ties them. After that, Max frankly tells George that they are going to kill a Swede. He asks George whether he knows a big Swede named Ole Anderson or not. George tells him that he comes for dinner in the lunchroom every evening at 6 o'clock. George asks Max the reason behind the assassination of Ole Anderson. He asks, what are you going to kill Ole Anderson for? In reply to his question, George answers, he never had a chance to do anything to us. He never even seen us, we are killing him for a friend. Just to oblige a friend. They wait for Ole Anderson to come. Max directs George that if anybody comes, tell him the cook is sick. A man comes and George explains to him the same as directed by Maximum. Everyone waits for Ole Anderson, but he does not come for dinner. After seven o'clock, they give up waiting for Ole Anderson and then leave the lunchroom. George goes into the kitchen and unties Nick Adams and Sam. They all consult on the point that whether they should tell Ole Anderson about the whole incident or not. Sam is against poking a nose into the matter, but George and Nick Adams want to inform Ole Anderson about the whole situation. Ultimately, they decide to notify him. George sends Nick Adams to Ole Anderson. Nick goes and finds him lying in his bed. He tells him the whole story. Ole Anderson does not do anything. He says he accepts death rather than running away from it. Nick Adams suggests that he should inform the police, but Ole Anderson denies doing the same. He also suggests that he should go away from town, but Ole Anderson replies, I'm through with all that running around. There ain't anything to do. Nick returns and tells his mates that Ole Anderson is not going to do anything. They are going to kill him. He decides to leave the town for a while, but George suggests that he should rather be quiet. The story ends with the last dialogue of George, you better not think about it.